Good morning, Floss Tube. Welcome back. This is Jan at Jan Hex Creates, and here we are at day 16, May 16th, day 16 of Stitch Mania. And yeah, still loving it. Still having a grand old time. Still looking forward every single day to what I am stitching this day. So, what did I stitch yesterday? I stitched on, you know, I think by now I remember to have the charts and everything out for you, right? And I'm sure you probably remember because, you know, from one day to the next, hopefully our memory isn't that long or isn't that short. But in case you didn't visit me with, with me yesterday, this is the chart I started yesterday by Glory B, Happily Ever After. This is a chart from 2002 that I've had in my stash for a while. I'm sure my husband and I got married in 2002, so I'm sure I bought it specifically to celebrate. Um... And here it has sat for 16 years, so I'm finally, finally doing it. So, this is what I have. Obviously not tan fabric, not any of the called for colors, but that's okay. That's what I have so far. Now, I decided to totally change the color of the heart and this color down here. Um, yeah, decided to go untraditional. Why not? It's kind of hard to see with the glare. This is a real photo that's on here. Um, but yeah, so I decided to go gold. I don't know why. It just struck me as a good color to stand out against all these other ones. So everything else will be pretty much the same colors that it's called for. Not the same, but you know, the, the same color. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so this, I'm going to make the house brethren blue, so it'll be a dark blue. The... I think the, the roof is banker's gray, and that's what I'm going to use for that. A dark color here. So the, the gold will be the heart, the words down here, and um, I think the there's like little lines on either side of the windows. Those will be gold as well. So I think that'll be a nice touch overall, the, the pattern. So that's what I got done yesterday. This one is not going to take long. I did have to... Um, frog the heart once because I did not did it as an outline and it didn't line up so that kind of sucked but it was I didn't have a whole lot of stitches and it came out fairly easily it went back in fairly easily and then I continued on to other fun flosses so there is that today we are working on my history of sheep this is a Jardin Privé pattern it is a four-parter so this is part one I love this design. Haven't worked on it in a while though, so I'm happy to be getting back to it. I had been using, um, let's see if I can find it in my poor old little pin cushion here. This was my grandmother's. Um, I had been using petite needles to stitch this. And I actually put a few stitches. I had to finish up this little sheep. I wanted to get the little sheep. I had the white going. I didn't want to stitch with white while I'm on the video those just so because it doesn't show I mean it shows up pretty good but you know so so I'd be working on something you could see more I'm going to be working with the black but I had been I did have as you can see the white on this petite needle and I really liked them when I was using them before I liked the petite size but um, now that I'm used to the Pat Carson's needles yeah, I decided to switch back to, to those and, and not use the petites. So, this is a 32 count linen. Um, I believe it's just one I had in my stash. Let me look it up and see if I made a note in the X Stitch app, because that is what I do. Um, at least I try and note it some days. Sometimes I'm better than others. Well, this is the 36 count parchment, so I actually, maybe I did get this um, specifically for this piece. It's hard to say. That's all I have, 36 count parchment. I am, um, I am using one thread, one piece of floss, over two on this. And I, oh God, I just adore this. This is so cute. Um, Let's see, so we are going to proceed on. I did get um, my, let's see, move this light so it's, I will always have trouble with this light doing this. 
Um, I did, did get in yesterday my five minutes on each previous mania start. Um, you know, does that look navy blue to you? This is supposed to be the black for the sheep. The sheep face and the, the windows and the roof of the house. Well, I guess that's black. Something about the cast of the lighting is making it look navy blue to me. But anyway, so I did get five minutes a piece on each of my previous mania starts yesterday. So that was awfully fun. Um, I was watching Floss Tube, of course, the whole time that I was doing it. And there were some pieces that I got so caught up in whatever floss tube I was watching that before you know it, um, 10 minutes went by on a piece. But, you know, I was just happily stitching away on all kinds of different things. So it, who cares, right? It's all, all fun, all good. Um, I'm probably going to be picking it cat hair off of this one because uh, that is my life. As you saw from my very, very, very furry kitties that I showed you in the RV photo. So I have been given permission, um, or I should say Mike has announced our news to the world, so now I can announce it to the rest of the world. Um, those of you who aren't on Facebook with us, um, the job he has accepted, the posting, is in Hawaii on Oahu. So we will be moving to Hawaii in the who knows when in the future, probably sometime in the fall. Um, he has not gotten the official acceptance email through HR yet. He got an email from the woman that interviewed him saying that they had chosen him for the job. But um, of course, all that has to work its way through various offices and human resources before it actually makes it to him. Um, and then as far as I understand the processing, his current office and the new office out there will talk about when they will release him. Um, we'll have to go through the whole pack out process. I don't know what else is involved. This isn't quite as involved a move um, as it would be to like a international location like to England or Germany or whatever. Um, but there's still some government hoops that have to be jumped through. We have been given to understand that um, we will get time to kind of close out our household here, take some leave um, before we have to report out there that it's basically um, like two weeks to close out and two weeks to uh, move or head out there. So what we will be doing with that month time is um, getting our household packed up. Of course, the government does come and do all that. They, they pack us out, um, load everything on container ships, load the Jeep on a, on a ship here in the Port of Baltimore, and then ship it all out. I assume so. I don't think it's taken truck over land. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, a lot of questions yet for this kind of move. But, um, so we close out the household here. My son graduates on August 1st from his college in Orlando. So um, we know we definitely are still going to be here come August, but um, beyond that, we really don't know. But anyway, so we'll close out here and um, hop in the RV. Our plan is, whatever the timing, our plan is to um, take some time and maybe visit some people and then, um, you know, whether it's the boys or um, friends, and then head out to Phoenix, um, where we will be storing the RV. We're basically going to, like, store all of our winter clothes in the RV. We have already reserved a storage, a spot in a, the storage lot that Mike's parents keep their RV in, and it is a covered lot. Um, so 
and it's it's close to them so they'll they'll be able to go and check on it and and start it periodically so it's not sitting unused for you know long periods of time um so anyways we will trek across the country with the cats um with the jeep well no not with the jeep in tow like i said yesterday we have to figure that out um trek across the country and get the rv and storage out there get all put all of our winter clothes in storage excuse me winter gear all that stuff will go in storage out there and um yeah, then we will hop on a plane and fly to Hawaii and find a place to live out there. I've already been talking a bit to um, Michelle Garrett since she's recently moved from Hawaii, from Oahu, about um, good areas, bad areas, both in terms of um, just good and bad for people to live, as well as good and bad as far as traffic and things to do and... Um, which side of the island is nicer and you know that kind of thing. Um, Mike and I have been TDY to Oahu a couple times. We really, really enjoyed, of course, it's Hawaii. Who wouldn't enjoy their time there? The tail end of one of the trips, one of the TDYs, we tacked another week on and went over to Kauai and spent a week on Kauai. So that was fun. So we've seen a bit of the, the area. We're not totally unfamiliar with Oahu. Um, but as far as living there for three years, you know, that's a different story. When we were TDY, they put you up, the government put you up in the Ala Moana Hotel down in Honolulu. Um, so that's a totally different, different living experience than, you know, actually living there. All right, well, those little windows went fairly fast. Um, yeah, so... Uh, you know, it'll all fall into place. There's, We're not the first people to do this, so I'm sure there's a whole process. We will have to get the kitties figured out. Um, there is also a whole process for um, getting them the shots and the certificates they need to be allowed onto Hawaii, onto Oahu. Um, and th there's a whole protocol. They have it all very neatly spelled out. So we'll have to step through that, and we will probably, you have to do it within a certain window so that, you know, before arriving on island, um, so that the, the people there know that, you know, they're freshly inoculated. Um, so we will probably, looks like a tail, tail end popped up through there. We will probably take care of all that. Um, in Phoenix, because that's where we hope we will be able to fly out of. Um, so yeah, lots to lots to work out as far as that's concerned. Shoot, do you see that the little tail from the green thread is popping through up through that hole, and that is highly annoying. Get it that time. Yeah. So exciting, busy times ahead. We will probably start in the not too distant future um, going through the stuff in the apartment again. You know, we've already weeded out. I've talked to you before on my Floss 2 videos about. Um, how much decluttering we have done prior to our other moves, we will go through that process again. Um, I'm sure, I don't think there's very much at this point that we have to get rid of, but there are odds and ends um, you know, that we brought with us here to the apartment and then you realize, oh, you know, something, apartment living, you don't really need that or that doesn't suit our lifestyle anymore, you know, that kind of thing. So, on a stitchy note, you will notice that when I was coming down here, I was working from left to right, and then back again across the row, right to left, and then drop down to the next row, working across 
left to right, and then right to left. And that is a very comfortable way to work for me when I'm working down. Here on the door and on these windows, I'm going to be working up. I am over on the left working up. So if I were to continue this way, that first stitch, because I took my needle down, let's see if I can do this, down into this hole right here. Bring that needle. I took my need my needle down into that hole. That means because I cross my crosses right to left first, I would need to bring this, the needle up there, come down in the lower left, up and over, and it just it just doesn't have as nice of a flow. So I am going to, in order to correct that, when I'm going up, I like to be going from right to left and back, right to left and back, right to left and back that has a better flow. So even though this is going to mean dragging my thread across these few stitches, I'm going to do it anyway because the flow and the speed is better. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm sorry. The flow and the speed is better when I'm working in the right direction. Now, it is a very gray day in Maryland today, so I am afraid my light here, frack. Um, my light here is casting a bit of a shadow because I have no other sunshine coming in. And it's hard for me to get the light at a right angle where it's not glaring in my eyes, but it's still illuminating what I'm doing here. And that's too much. Ah, I know I've mentioned this in every video, don't I? What I really need is to have it coming over my left shoulder. But that is not possible for how I'm set up here. So, yeah, what's going on in your life? Anything exciting? It's probably enough excitement for us. Mike's parents are thrilled. Of course, like I said, his mom is already packed for Hawaii. We have a lot of friends who are saying, "Oh, we've already wanted to visit. Ho we've always wanted to visit Hawaii." So I think we'll, we'll get lots of visitors, which is good. We will have a spare bedroom. We've already talked to the boys about Christmas in Hawaii, um, so that'll be fun. There is a cross stitch store on Oahu, um, so I am not totally out to dry. But of course, there's always online shopping. As far as I know, I haven't looked for a yarn store. As far as I know, there isn't a yarn store. But as I have said before, I basically own a yarn store's worth of yarn. Um, and a good yarn in Sarasota will ship to me. So... I have no worries on that account. In fact, when I get my my budget stocked again in June, one of the thir first things I'm going to do is buy some, some yarn. I think I mentioned this already, buy some yarn for the new sweater that Kat designed, the summer sweater, because that will be perfect for Hawaii. Nice cotton mix yarn, cute little tee, and a nice aqua color. What's not to love? I'm also not as smooth and going up as I am coming down. As I'm not controlling the needle as well. Doesn't help that I can't see as well today. So I think that might be about it for today. Let me let me finish the door. And then we will talk about tomorrow. Can you believe we are halfway through May? You know, we're all making our mania plans. So excited to start. And now here we are halfway through when a lot of people are finishing up. <laughs> Time goes so fast. 
And you know what that means. Before you know it, we will be in Hawaii. I said to Michelle this morning when I was chatting with her on Instagram that you guys are just going to be so tired of all of my Hawaii photos because, you know, I will be taking a ton of photos. <laughs> so that's what I expect to do on my Floss 2 videos, kind of show you what today's view of Hawaii is. I hope that will be okay with you. Okay, so there is that one tomorrow tomorrow. I'm very excited. I start Heartstring Samplery's Hibernation Day. Had this one for a little while. Saw this one first on um, Lisa Smith's Floss Tube channel, Kindred Stitcher. And I've mentioned before, of course, this is totally not Hawaii. How snow drifts make the world disappear without a trace. I'll take a day dressed in pajamas in a room without a view. If I can spend the day curled up next to you, let's have, an, have, a, have a hibernation day, me and you. I love the snap of winter air and snowflakes on my face. Okay, so maybe um, this will be especially nice to make in Hawaii. <laughs> but it won't depict real life in Hawaii. But isn't that pretty? Now I am doing this and actually staying in my pajamas all day. Yeah, I can do that no matter where I am, even if my pajamas are a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. I am actually doing this on a gray linen. And again, let me see if I note it down. I don't have any um, information on what linen this is tagged to it. So let me see. Just says 32 count gray linen. So, don't know who, where, what, or when. Um, I'll be doing this over two. I probably will still do this with just one floss, but I'll try two and see what I think. I think 32 is the one that can go either way. But anyway, I'm also going to be playing with colors today. Um, especially like some of these, the greens. This is much more of a yellow green. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pull out the colors and put them on the um, fabric and see what they look like. Um, so I don't know how they'll look on the gray since this is a totally different color than, than what is called for. So anyways, that is, that is tomorrow's start. I will be working merrily away on um, my sheep today and also my five minutes a day on my other projects. Um, Hopefully I can keep up with that so I actually have something to show you for my next update. Let's see, my 1,000 subscriber share the love giveaway closes tonight at close of business, so 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I will do the drawing tomorrow and do a separate video tomorrow of that. So stay tuned. I'm very excited to see who wins those yummy prizes. And I think that is all for today. You guys, have a great day. Enjoy whatever it is you're doing and find that time to stitch. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.